What is up, Pretty How are you guys doing today? And today we are doing a sucky noob's guide to a crash course in Minecraft. Step one in creating a new world. After letting the chunks load, start punching a tree because you need wood, and this is how you get wood. Step two, you're going to press E to open up your inventory. Throw that wood down inside there. You're going to craft a crafting bench and some sticks. Boom, boom, shift click makes things move faster. Crafting in Minecraft is very simple. Most of the time you're just drawing out the shape of the object that you want to craft. Be it a shovel, a hoe, an axe, or a sword. It's all that simple. If you have any more questions about crafting in Minecraft, go check out the Wikipedia because I can't tell you everything that there's to craft, but there's loads of things out there to craft. Wikipedia has all of the answers for you. After you've crafted your first wooden pickaxe, you're want going to want to mine up some stone. You need at least three to make a stone pickaxe. Also recommended is to get another eight for a furnace. In Minecraft, there are different tiers of ores that can be mined. Wood can mine coal, but wood cannot mine iron. Iron must be mined with a stone pickaxe. Stone can also mine lapis lazuli, but after that you're going to need an iron pickaxe to mine up your gold, redstone, and diamonds. You're going to need your diamonds to mine up obsidian. With a normal diamond pickaxe, it takes 15 seconds to mine a single block of obsidian. Watch out for lava! In Minecraft, the controls are a simple WASD to walk, spacebar to jump, shift is your crouch button. Crouching is good for standing on the edge of blocks without falling off. As far as sprinting, you can still double tap W to sprint. Or, they now have a uh, sprint button. If you press control, you can also run. In Minecraft, there are many fighting techniques you need to know when fighting Endermen. Do not look straightly, straight at them. If you look at them, they will get angry. If you hit their feet, they will not teleport away. But they will get mad at you. Just keep hitting their feet. They will die. Zombies are fairly simple to fight. You just have to herd them around. Tip, with f tip when fighting. Jumping allows you to do extra damage. With creepers, you're going to want to hit them. Back off. Hit them again. And if you cannot kill them in time... Hold right click. Right click does a block. Blocking uh, take makes you take less damage from enemies. When fighting skeletons, you want to do dodge and weave, ducking back and forth so they can't shoot you. I try. I tend to get in close with my sword and attack very quickly. Otherwise, you can just snipe them from far off with your bow. Another tip in Minecraft is that you can block while attacking, so you can give damage and guard against some, making you a lot harder to kill. In Minecraft, there are many different kinds of foods, and you may be wondering, what kind of food should I eat? Well, there are two main things you need to know about food. There's the amount of food bars that a piece of food heals, and there's saturation. Saturation is not shown on screen, but saturation is how long you will stay full before you get hungry again. Uh, there's a full list of the best kinds of foods on the Minecraft Wikipedia, but as far as in-game stuff goes, the steak and the cooked pork chop are going to be your best bets. They will fill four bars of health, and you will stay full for quite a while. Uh, if you're in a dire situation, mushroom stew is always a great option. Uh, my personal favorite kind of food is the baked potato. It's in the top tier. It does not restore quite as much health as uh, the cooked meats, but it's still very good. It has a high saturation, and it will last you a while. One of the most appealing things about Minecraft if it is its multiplayer. There are many, 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 many multiplayer servers out there with many different kinds of games. This is a minigame server. There are a lot of different minigames that have been recreated in Minecraft. Some of those include uh, the Hunger Games. Just like the books and the movies, you have people stuck in an arena get together collecting items and fighting. One of my personal favorites would be Parkour. 
parkour is fun. It is simply what it sounds like. It is jumping from block to block. Another very popular minigame is called Spleef. It puts you in a, an arena with a bunch of other people and you are all punching out the floor trying to not fall through the holes in the floor while trying to make other people fall through those holes. Almost all servers will have a survival world of some sort in which it is like your single player where you get to go out and survive. Quite often some of these servers will have other plugins though where you can create towns or build alliances or do all sorts of fun things. So check out the different servers individually. Skylock is also a fun kind of survival that a lot of servers now have in which you are placed on a floating block in the sky with limited resources trying to survive. Many servers have custom plugins through their survival world in which uh, you can build towns or um, not use certain land or lock your chests or work together with other people. Uh, I recommend checking with the server itself, maybe see if there's a website, or just going through the different help commands that might be offered on the server to see what all they have to offer. One uh, trick that took me a while to learn was that if you're in chat, you can press the up arrow on your keyboard to bring up your last command or last, last text that you wrote which was always helpful if you have a lot of different commands that you're trying to use maybe not so much in a survival server but in um, if you're using something like world edit which is a building plugin it is very helpful as you see uh, this house is locked and I cannot break it which is another plugin that many survival servers will have which will protect people from griefers people who come along and destroy something you've built. When playing in survival, don't go through and mess up somebody else's build. Nobody likes that. You will get banned. Coming from a former admin, I know we hated that and we will ban you. We have absolutely no qualms about just kicking you off of our server. That is all I have for you guys today though. That's the Sucky Noob Guide to a Crash Course in Minecraft. If you have any more questions or if you think I've forgotten something because you're an utter pro at Minecraft and you're like, oh my gosh, you left such and such out. Be sure to let me know. Drop me a comment. Drop me a question. Let me know and I will try to get back to those in another video. But as for now, I recommend just going out and playing Minecraft and check out the Wikipedia because it's got a lot of good stuff. Or just go check out some other videos on YouTube because there are loads of them out there. So like I said, as always, be of your butt. Stay smexy, y'all. Deuces.